Hi, today I'm going to show you how to dynamically update your copyright year in your footer section of your website using Webflow. And you may uh, put in static text here as a copyright year and what that entails is that you would have to manually go in at least once a year to update that to the current year which um, nobody wants to do manual labor and uh, in my example here it's been neglected for 10 years and this is really embarrassing so um, let's fix that let's make it dynamic so let's head over to our webflow environment and let's go to the footer container area. So I set this up as a flex box, center, center, align, justify. And in here is where we will need to add in a, a custom JavaScript code. And in how you would do that is to um, add in the component called embed. And let's put it right into the, uh, the footer section container. And a modal window will pop up where we can paste in the uh, custom JavaScript code there. And I set up a, a GitHub page where you could copy and paste from. And I will list this uh, URL link into the description text below. Okay, So let's copy the code. And let's paste it into the Webflow environment. Let's save and close. So now for the static text, we don't need that anymore. Let's get rid of it. And uh, let's publish it. And have a look at the live site, see what that looks like. Let's refresh it and it works. So you, it's dynamically generated current year is displayed. So let's go back to the web for environment. There's one thing that we need to do is to put in the uh, the constant static text content, which is the name of the company. In my case, it would be Las Vegas, Las Vegas hair, and all rights reserved would be the constant uh, static content. Now let's, now let's save and close, and let's publish it once again. Great, go to the live site, refresh, perfect. So everything is uh, listed there. So one last thing uh, is actually, let's stylize that text and um, go to the, make sure the HTML embed is selected. Give it a, a footer, uh, give it a class. In my case, I actually have something there with the footer text. And uh, let's actually make it a little bigger so that you could really see. And once that's uh, set, let's publish it. Great. Move on to the live site area, refresh. And as you can see, you can stylize that however you see fit. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And if you like this uh, types of tutorial, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon again. Thank you very much. Have a good day.